If you look right there, that is actually the only tree in the state of Colorado. At least that's what it seems like. We're in the middle of nowhere, Greeley, Colorado. I got an email a little bit ago from Burris Optics that said they really are re releasing the future of sports optics this year. And I thought, hmm, that sounds interesting. I'd like to go see if they can follow through. So today you're just with me in the wilderness of Colorado and we're gonna try out some really cool looking scopes. Okay, first future of the optics. So this is called the- XTR Pro. XTR Pro. Yep. Check this out. I, as soon as I saw this lineup, I was like, what is that thing? So it has your, your turret and on it, this is just a big whiteboard here. So if this is especially good for competition shooters, but even a hunter, like, you know, just wanting to know your dope. Uh, so you don't have to dial to whatever 2.7 mils. You just, it's like a dry erase. You just mark right on here what 400, 500, 600 yards is. And you just put this turret on your turret. I see your turret and I raise you a turret. That thing is awesome. So you just push it down and then there are two little buttons right here to get it on. Yep. There. You're better at it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> if you're using this in a competition setting, Seth, how would you, like, what do you do with that then? Do you have, can you get like multiples of these to set for different yeah, conditions? Yeah, exactly. So you can have, uh, and what we like to run, it are multiple of the uh, white knobs, the whiteboard knobs. The, the the quick marking knobs uh we really like to do this because at like our competitions you can have uh you can have big changes big swings in your density altitude throughout the day when you start in the morning you can start with a da of 5,000, and then by afternoon with the heat and the dry the dry heat especially out here or in wyoming we can get the da all the way up to seven or eight thousand. so the D, the da is the the density altitude so it's going to change during the day as things heat up you know you don't even necessarily have to change physical altitude travel to a different place but the, the environmental conditions change and so if you're shooting a competition especially out at range you're going to have to change everything during the day so he's saying you could have a turret set up for one and then set up for another when you know it's going to heat up later in the day and you're set to go. Just replace the turret as soon as you start seeing you're shooting high. Today's video sponsor is Manta Sleep that makes these great sleep masks for when you're traveling like this so you can actually get some rest. It's not just for traveling, Jim. <laughs> these are honestly the best sleep masks. Okay, this is a great way to win some points with your wife. This is like the coolest gift, but you'll probably want to use it yourself as well. Basically, if you have kids, you know how hard and a premium it is to be able to actually take a nap. And I've convinced Jim that you just need a little bit of noise coverage. So these yes. have Bluetooth speakers. Yeah, so you can play a little white noise so you can't hear anything when the kids walk in. Blocks out all the light so you can take a nap during the day. They're really comfortable, washable. They come different ones like these ones you can heat up in the microwave so you have some warm on. They have kids ones, all kinds of different options. And I love this little cup thing so you don't get like that weird eyelash eye. <laughs> when it gets mashed. <laughs> Check out Manta Sleep on their website and use code BACKFIRE to get an extra discount when you check out. And we thank Manta Sleep for sponsoring this episode. All right, we're gonna put this into practice here so you can lay, lay behind the gun. And go to 500 yards. Yep. First target's a 500, IPSC target. Impact, center, center. Now we're gonna go to 750. Black flag, 750. Impact. And now Three inch side of the line. Now we'll go to 1100 at the orange windsock. Man, in a competition, this would make such a difference to just not like have a thousand things in your head, you know? Sweet. That Great is shot. awesome, man. That system is just so fast and it's simple. I like the, uh, I like the simple, just write it on the turret kind of solution. Very cool. Dude, yep. nice shooting. That was awesome. So really hard to miss with that yeah. system. That's awesome. So this is the one that I'm excited about. That scope we just saw was a really simple solution to a problem that can be really frustrating when you're trying to shoot, especially competition, but also hunting. This is kind of the opposite. This is the high-tech solution to the very same problem. 
So this scope came out in 2023 and I was thrilled with it. It was definitely my favorite hunting scope of the year. The, what it does is the big feature of this scope is, you know, instead of, you know, I see the deer 372 yards. Well, now I got to type it in my phone and get my ballistic solution and then I dial it. This makes it so much faster as you dial here, there's a heads up display right in the scope that just says that is dialed to 372 yards. Other cool thing about it is usually you hear click, 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 click. There's, this, no, click. there's no click yeah. because it, it, the, one of the cool things I think is you can go between clicks. It's just a nice infinite gradient exactly. uh, so you can see whatever, whatever you're dialed to. So that is awesome. I loved that scope last year. This year, the future is looking better because this thing got shorter. Um, you have illumination that a lot yep, of people yep. wanted and it one scope it had triplets or it b became a triplet can you become a triplet because you're already born i don't know if you can become a triplet it had triplets yeah we came out with uh, three new models around a, a totally new optical design so it's a little bit shorter it's got a lot better image clarity to it we improved the optics and the objective belt here there's no chromatic aberration it's very very clear and you're going to check that out in a second i'm going to check it out right it. now this sounds fun man <laughs> again so this is the turret up here that you don't have to even know what your dope is so i'm just gonna dial here the highline kyla coyotes three got it sorry i was gonna shoot over its back in embarrassing fashion all right here we go <clears throat> dead on sweet Very nice. all right now we go to 500 yards and that's so cool just to be able to spin the turret now one thing is what so your app Jordan is, so it's a BC based app, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm gonna get the BC of the bullet from the box. I type in the information for, you know, my load and it uploads to the, to the scope with Bluetooth. But what if it's off? What if, you know, the BC isn't quite correct? Something like that. So we've added a truing feature to our app. There's uh, two different ways to true. You've got a, a linear truing and then a um, ang angular truing. So uh, the simplest way to say it is if you uh, are, you know, three inches low at your 500 yard target, you can add a truing point into your ballistic curve. You type in 500 yards, you type in three inches, you say I'm low, and then you save that, and then it'll true your curve to that point. And uh, you can add as many uh, different points to your curve as you want. That's awesome. That, cause then that eliminates all the, all the, you know, where you would use, you know, some of the other companies that have, you know, a, a more precise curve of that bullet, but you can true it exactly to how it's shooting. That's awesome. That's what we need. Sweet. Impact. That is awesome. That is just so much faster for hunting. Like that's something that's not just technology for technology's sake. Like you're, you're actually going to kill more animals. See, that is awesome. So a little bit ago, I met the Burris Eliminator Scope. Actually, my friend Rob Arrington from Deer Meat for Dinner. If you guys don't know his channel, it is awesome. Um, so check that out. But he turned me on to the Burris Eliminator, and this is the new Burris Eliminator. So the older one looked very space age. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, kind of very boxy. Now it looks like a traditional scope, but it's not a traditional scope. So. We showed kind of the whiteboard approach to, to having your marker, your marks. And then we looked at the turret and we said, okay, what if we had a heads up display inside so you don't even have to know what, you know, your MOA is, you just dial it. And it shows you how many yards you're to. This takes it about 15 steps further. And now you say, what if you just don't dial at all? And what if you don't even have a separate range finder? What if it does everything for you? So. Okay, show this on, show this right here. Siri, shoot the 700 yard target. Just kidding, not quite that good, but check this out. So it has a remote control, remote control right here. You go to your target. So I can press this little button here to get the range, but if you don't even wanna be out of your shooting position, like this is like the lazy boy approach. You have your little remote here, you still use your hand. And then what I see in the target is I see a normal reticle, but as soon as it gets a range, it shows me the range above, and then it just puts a dot right where I need to aim. I hold down to the dot and... <laughs> there you go. 
bam, right on the center. That is incredible. Yep, real quick, while you're on there, you've got that dot you just hit with. Yeah. Go while you look at that target with that dot on there. Okay. So you're on high power. It looks like you're about on 18 power. Yep. Say you want a little more field of view, one is more. You can see the dot moving the as dot you moves. zoom out. The dot moves. If you hold that dot on the target and hold steady, as I move this, it is auto correcting. So you here you're getting the best benefits of both worlds. Front focal plane, you get the correct at any distance. Your data's your data is going to be true, but you get the high visibility and the, the the good illumination off of the second focal plane. So so when I so when it ranges and it shows me that little red light in there, yep. it's not you know mechanically dialing a turret that would move the optical image up and down, right? And so there's got to be a limit then to how far you can shoot out. How, how far can you use this thing? You get roughly about uh, 40 MOAs worth of drop. So you're shooting... 1,500? What's that? Around 1,500 yards. 6.5 Creedmoor, you're going to get around 14, 1,500 yards depending <laughs> on your density altitude. <laughs> Dang, so. out to 1,500. Okay, well, I want to try the the 11 then, if we can go yep, that far. Yep. We'll see this thing. All right. Okay. Oh, <laughs> just off to the side, but the elevation's perfect. Just a little yeah. bit of wind. Notice that live level bubble in there? That's crazy, yeah. dude. That is crazy. Okay, yeah, let's see that live level yep. bubble. Oh yeah, up at the top. Yep. Oh yeah, so you don't have to have a bubble level attached up here. And yep. the Veracity PH also has one of those, yep. right? Okay, so for people that are familiar with the Eliminator, what's new in the six? So from the previous generations up to the five, we had that magnesium alloy housing. Didn't look like a rifle scope. You had to mount it on a pit, on a Picatinny or Weaver style rail. Um, you couldn't adjust the height, um, you know, height over bore if you had a, to adjust your cheek comb. Now we've got a traditional looking rifle scope. Um, we've improved the rangefinder. We've also given the user so many more controls because it's app based. Dude, I need Here. this in my life. I need it bad. That is like, like that will make a significant difference hunting. Especially, so for me, the the situation I'm always facing is, you know, you're you're looking at game. I'm always yeah. hunting with my boys. Yep. And so if it's 380, the whole time I'm like, boy, I hope they ranged it right. Yep. You know. And when you're relying on somebody, especially if it's you know terrain like this where it's a gentle hill, something at the top of the hill, just a little bit behind it, yep. it can be hard to get a precise range. You don't have like if you can aim at something, you already have it ranged right. You don't yep. have to think about it because it's pointing at exactly where your scope is aimed. Well, that is cool. It's just perfect every time. Thanks everybody for watching this one. See you in the next video.